Good morning, everybody, again. Back at it. Remember how you used to put the all in awesome? Not anymore. Now, you're simply the best. More coffee. Okay. New math today. We're going to try to kick it up a little bit. Um, so stay with me. We're back to the coordinate grid. Quadrant one only. We're going to talk a little bit about the polygons that we talked a little bit about the other day. We're going to talk a little bit about the triangles that we talked about before we left. So, just like we've been doing, when I give you some points to plot, <coughs> you're always going to begin at your origin, zero, zero. So if I give you the point, for instance, my go-to origin, ordered pair, five, five. Remember, this is always X, and this is always Y. You always go across first. So point five, five is going to be right here. Ordered pair, five, five. Give you another ordered pair, uh, nine, five. This is X, this is Y, nine, five. Point going to be giving you some ordered pair points to plot. Now, we know how to do that. We also, the other day, started talking about <coughs> classifying different kinds of polygons. Now, I'm going to start, I'll ease into this because it's new, but that is a certain type of polygon. And you might have to go back to your hierarchy to figure out what kind this is or what kind it is that I started asking you to graph. Now, we should be okay with this. We learned the ordered pairs, we learned the coordinate grid, we learned some polygons, but now we're gonna start talking a little bit more about those ordered pairs. I gave you five, five, I gave you nine, five. Uh, what is this? This is 12, nine, okay? The second part that'll be a little bit newer for us, I'm gonna have you do some things with your X and Y value. For instance, let's just take our x's for a minute. If I tell you that I want to increase each x value by 1, you're going to look at your ordered pairs, you're going to look at your x value, where now it was 5, now I want you to make it 6, 5. All I've done is increase my x value by 1. y has stayed the same. So you're going to take the points I give you and create new points. For instance, I gave you 5, 5, I gave you 9, 5, I gave you 12, 9. So I'm creating a little X and Y chart here. In third grade, you call them in and out boxes. But then I'm going to give you the task of creating new points. So if I say I want you to increase X by 1 and decrease Y by 1, that means you're going to look at the points you already had, you're going to take all your x's and add one, take your y's and subtract one. So your what used to be 5, 5 is going to become ordered pair 6, 4. I added one to the x, I took away one from the y. Ordered pair, the original one was 9, 5, my new one is going to become 10, 4. So you're going to plot some points on the first page create a new set of values for x and y for new ordered pairs 12 9 would become 11 8 8 and then you're going to plot those points on the other pages and it's a little bit different because then we're going to start talking about what that new figure is because there are types of figures in geometry there are types of figures <coughs> It's just, it's just like being in class that are called similar and there are types of figures that are called congruent similar figures pretend that's a good square pretend that's a good square those figures are similar they're both squares that's all they're similar they're not exactly the same if two figures are exactly the same. They're congruent. Congruent, exactly the same. Similar, no, they're similar. They kind of like each other, but they're not exactly the same. Okay? That's something we're going to be talking about tomorrow a little bit. Now, 
just like that. You're also going to have to plot some points on your own to create some triangles on a couple pages today. Now, if you remember things about our triangles, there was an equilateral triangle we talked about where all the sides were equal. Equilateral. All three sides of a triangle were equal. There's an isosceles triangle where two of the sides were equal, like that one. These two sides are equal. This one's a little bit longer. Tick marks, remember? The three sides are equal. Tick marks identify that they're all the same. Two sides are equal. One side's different. Candy corn kernels. Inside joke. Scalene. Scalene triangle, no sides are the same. All three lengths of the triangle are different, okay? Scalene. One tick mark, two tick marks, three tick marks. All three sides are different. So I send you out the coordinate grid today, you're gonna to plot some points. You're gonna change X and Y in the next page, plot new points, talk to me about if they're similar or congruent or not. And then you're going to plot some points to create an isosceles triangle and a scalene triangle. It's a little difficult to create an equilateral one uh, without necessarily measuring each side, especially on graph paper. But we'll get there. Okay? So give that a shot. I'll send that file out. You're the best. Ask me if you have any questions.